In this video, we got something pretty interesting and quite special, I think, at least for you guys out there that like sound, and it's this Q-Style M15i portable DAC slash headphone amplifier. So I've been kind of looking around for something like this because I've been using mostly this Xduo XA-10 and it's a great little all-in-one headphone amplifier, but I am tethered to the wall. And even though I can't move it around, let's say to my living room or anywhere I go, it's just a hassle. And as you guys can see, I do have a few headphones and some IEMs that I do swap constantly and listen. Sometimes I don't want to, you know, sit on one spot and I'm kind of moving around and I have my phone with me. So, and searching around made me kind of like the Q-Style M15 for the reasons of everyone saying how clear it is. And before we get to the sound and everything, let's go ahead and look at it here a little closer. So this is the box it comes in. It's a nice box. It has a picture here of what the DAC looks like. We have some specs in the back there. So I've never had the previous version, but I hear this one is a bit different, but they are quite similar, obviously. Yeah, the I actually stands for specifically Apple certified. So there's a couple security tabs you cut, and then we pull on this and it comes out. So we get some, I guess, instructions or tips and things like that in many different languages. You also get a warranty card. And under that, we can see the dongle. And it's a pretty nice looking dongle. It's got a window where you can see through it. We've got another tab here we can pull. And that pulls out the dongle layer. Pretty small device. And then underneath that, we've got the USB to USB cable and the adapter to a USB-A. So I've just been using the cable. It is quite short. So sometimes you want to, you know, bend it like over. It doesn't really want to bend. Wish it was just a tad longer, but then again, sometimes it feels too long when it's just straight. But yeah, I feel like if it was like an inch or two longer, it might have been a little better because you'd be able to bend it in half. That's pretty much everything for the box. So the dongle is quite nice. It's made out of aluminum. It's got some weight to it. It's not heavy, but overall feels quite premium. So the glass, or it seems like it's glass, makes a very unique kind of look. To see the inside, we can kind of see our 4.4 there and the 3.5 jack. And those are the two ports that you can plug into with your headphones. Then on the side here, we got a toggle and that's going to be between high and low gain. So I've been actually listening to mostly on high as the sound seems fuller, not necessarily just louder, but also fuller, at least to my ears. So, and then on the other end here, we do have the USB port type C and you kind of see it through the glass there. But yeah, and on the back, we have more information, the branding. Also says high res lossless, which it does go all the way to 768, 32 bit, and everything in between. In any case, we got the model number. It says mobile headphone amplifier with DAC. And probably more importantly is right there where it says CMA SIP inside. So this is Q Styles technology of amplification leaning towards amperage instead of voltage. And let me tell you guys, whatever that is, it works extremely well. You would think this small little thing is not capable to run full size headphones, but let me tell you it more than can. So more high impedance, like those Sennheisers, no problem. Planner Hyferman's there, this, those are the HE4XX, no issues either. Focals, beautiful. And even more demanding, larger Hyferman's like this Ananda here, also not an issue at all. And then we have the RDT10 Pro IEMs, which sound beautiful with this DAC. So what does all this mean is that you can connect this cable, hook this up to anything with the USB-C, and this thing will process it and then output the power to pretty much any headphone you have. So you can run this thing off of your phone and get incredible sound. So I've been using my Samsung Galaxy 23 Ultra and it's been doing very good with this dongle because all we do is we feed the data into here and then the dongle processes everything with its pretty high-end DAC which is a ESS and then outputs to anything you want so let's go ahead and just connect these well let's connect the high fit bins here the large ones and so when you first connect this you're gonna see that it's not glowing or doing anything and that's because you have to actually connect some headphones to it for it to activate so, so if you guys maybe can see as I plug this in it lights up. The two little lights on that side is going to be for your gain. So if I switch the gain, it's gonna go from one to two lights. Okay, so that doesn't really react until you play something. Let's just go ahead and play something. 
And by the way, when I plug this thing in, the phone remembers the deck itself. And so it never, you know, full volumes me every time I plug it in, which is really nice because this could be quite dangerous. If it's full volume, it's gonna be really, really loud on the output. So you gotta be careful with that. So I haven't had any issues. The two things that I plugged into this is the phone and then the MacBook Pro, and they both remember the device and go to the last volume setting that they were at. So I still double check before I play by just turning up and down the volume to see where it's at. And you can see a little headphone icon there, meaning it's connected, so. But yeah, now that it's playing, we can see it's in low gain now. If I switch it down to high, the other LED comes on. And on the other side, we have a data LED. So for that one, if there's one, it's 48 kilohertz or less. And everything above that, let's say it goes to 88, it turns on the other LED. So sometimes there'll be music that pops up, has the higher fresh rate, and I can check it here. Like this one's 24 bit, 48 hertz. So we're still not gonna get the second LED light but this is actually quite a clean recording here so and that leads us to the next topic which is sound quality so i was a little nervous about other people saying how this DAC might be a little too bright and to be honest it is a little bright it's very clear but it is on the brighter side of things so if you have planners which love being bright they're going to probably get even brighter like this x duo here is very smooth and very warm i would say compared to this but the interesting part is the q style here m15 really does a great job with detail separation it is incredible what this thing does it separates every little sound so well that you can pinpoint things that even this x duo xa10 here i can still hear the pinpoints they're just not that obvious here here, everything is super obvious and makes it very unique and so if you have more cheaper darker headphones this thing really wakes them up and makes them feel cleaner and clearer but if you have planners it just takes it to another level so the highs are not so much that they're too sharp they're just more abundant and the detail is just more abundant and the separation is just more abundant. So everything up in the higher range is abundant. But if you go the other way to the low range, it also feels like it goes deeper or at least hits the lower tones more nicer, more controllable. And so for these IAMs here, that really, really makes a huge difference. And these things really rumble beautifully with this amp. And out of all the headphones I have here, so far it's been about a month since I've been using this thing. The most ones I enjoy with this is the IEMs. And then these I've had for about a year and a half now. These two just sound unbelievable. So if you have any kind of hyphen headphones, it'll just take them to another level. Now you do have to be careful with the idea that they're going to be neutral because they will not. They will definitely kind of go high on you. If I can show you this, guys, I actually did a mod here is where I inserted foam on the inside to really cut down on the high frequency. Of course, I've done that before I even got this little DAC amp because these were too bright already for me, even with this amp. So keeping that in mind, you do get used to the sound signature and you start to appreciate it. Now, it does get fatiguing over time, depending on what you're listening to and how loud you're listening to. If you listen to it more quietly, normal quieter levels, you can listen forever with any of these headphones. If you like to listen to louder, IEMs are the best for this DAC because IEMs tend to be more focused and not so open or not so wide and like they're more intimate. So you really get a really nice, more direct sound where there is still a ton of resolution, but it's not so wide where it's overwhelming, I guess. It's the best way I can put it. Hopefully guys, this helps a little bit of explaining what this thing sounds like. I absolutely love it. I know there's probably some that will not love this as it is aggressive a little bit. And it does have this kind of feeling when you first put it on, you're just like, wow, you're blown away. But then after about 30 minutes, you're like, uh, I wish it was a little warmer. So I do get that feeling a lot. So if I can conclude the M15i here in a nutshell, it'll be that. Amazing in the beginning and wish it was more warm as you listen. But even with that said, like I said, I can listen for hours easily on any of these headphones with the correct volume. And if you're a very critical listener and you love detail separation, this thing will blow your mind. As I've listened to many times, many tracks with different headphones, I have different amplifiers, I plug these things into, you know, straight to other things. And I've never been so impressed with the separation as I am with the Q style M15i. I think if you want something exciting, this thing will definitely bring the excitement. It's not cheap, unfortunately, but you can pick them up now for around 200. Now they did come out with the brand new M15C, which has a different DAC in it, but it's practically the same thing. And the output power is very similar, practically the same with the same ports and it's, it's the same thing. 
with just a little bit of different modules inside. And that one you can pick up for around 100, which seems to be an excellent deal. And the way that one's described is to be a little more warm. So maybe that might be better, I'm not sure. But I love this thing. And if you're a resolution junkie and you love that detail, this thing does the job. Yeah, and I almost forgot this thing is very not power hungry. I can listen to this thing for like three hours on my phone with it off, obviously. It only drains about 10% of the battery and it doesn't get hot. It slightly gets warm, but it's just slight warmness. So it's very, very efficient. So yeah, that's all the things I gotta say for the M15i. If you're looking for a dongle in this price range with this kind of sound characteristics, this one, here is hard to beat.